Hey guys and welcome back to a new video on this channel. I'm Sabi from Code Revolution. So recently Google My Business API was changed a lot and because of this the business somatic plugin which is able to import posts from Google My Business but also to automatically post from WordPress to your Google My Business account was not functional for a period of time but fortunately I updated it today and it is working once again so go ahead guys check the link from this video description and you will find the plugin you will be able to use it but now let me show you the plugin in action be please be note that you need to update the plugin to the latest available version and the latest version is 1.0.6.1 so this is the version needed for you to make the plugin work again okay so after you set it up you will need to add your google OAuth to key and secret in plugin settings please be sure of some things before you go and set up your account that your Google My Business API is active, approved and everything needed because as you might know you need to submit your project ID to Google and they need to approve your project ID from Google Cloud Platform from here from the API console for you to have access to Google My Business API. After you get access to this you will need to do two more things so you need to enable also the my business business information api so be sure to enable this and also <clears throat> enable the my business account management api so these two additional apis were added recently by the google developer team and these two apis are needed by the plugin so these two are required by the plugin now to be enabled on your account please note that this was not a requirement back in 2020 or 2021 this is a requirement now in 2022 and onwards from here because google changed the how the api functions and they now require the my business business information api and my business account management api to be enabled for the plugin to function okay so after you have the google my business A api and the business information api and the account management api active please go to your admin and check quotas because this is very important if you don't have your quota limit set correctly so you can see that 300 and 300 limit is set to both account management as been and business information while for google my business api 3000 okay so please note that you don't have here zero and if you have here zero you will need to contact the google api support for you to get increased quotas okay so now we will be able to go to the plugins post to my uh, uh, post to google my business menu and be sure to click reauthorize before you submit your first post to google my business because the plugin needs to refresh its functioning afterwards select the business listing that you got from here click save settings and now we will be able to submit our first post once again to google my business so this is my business listing here on google my business profile manager these are my posts i haven't submitted any posts from july 2021 i think this was the point when they changed the api or not sure about this however let's go back and create a new post testing google my business api let's add also some text here let's set a featured image set featured image and now we can go ahead and publish this <clears throat> we can see the published post here and if we go to the post here we should see also and yeah here it is our testing google my business api with our image is posted also to my google my business profile so yeah it was 
a lot of work so trust me guys on this it was a lot of work to make this uh, feature of the plugin work again so yeah the Google My Business API changed a lot and uh, it was quite hard to implement the changes. Now, let me delete the post that I imported and let me show you that the plugin can also import posts from my Google My Business API. So first of all, let's disable auto posting. So the plugin will not import the post and auto post it back to Google My Business profile. And now let's select the business listing from here and let's import two posts, for example. And let's check my test site here. It's empty and let's run importing. So now Google My Business API will be the post from the Google My Business API will be imported here. So here it is. The main Tango image and also the image from PHP tips. It seems that this post is too recent for it to appear in the API response. It will appear in a couple of minutes probably. Okay, so here it is. These two posts were imported to my site. So now let's delete them and go ahead and okay, so everything is fine. So yeah, I will link the plugin in this video description. Go ahead and check it guys and don't forget. So very, very important. Be sure to have your account management API and business information APIs active on your Google Cloud Platform and your Google Developer Console. So yeah, this is all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video update. For more similar videos, please subscribe to this channel. Until next time, have a nice day. Bye bye.